All right, in your underlying energies, the Three of Wands. Underneath that, you have the Ace of Swords. So there is some definite truth and some sort of clarity. And now there's some sort of waiting or some sort of distance, and it's causing some sort of rift. Now, the distance isn't the problem. It's more of the waiting on the response that's the situation. And the reason why I say that is because this person is totally not communicating what's going on up top. Now, the reason why we'll get to in a moment, but this, you know, this person here definitely is going through some serious trauma, some sort of loss, there's some pain that they're suffering and they're not communicating it, right? They're going through this mentally. They're looking at what's been lost, what's been gone. The two of cups is still there. This two of cups is actually right here. But they're, they're coming into the relationship, not to say that they're damaged goods, not to say that they're broken, but they've been hurt. And this is about healing that moon or shifting their focus to potential goodness rather than what the or perpetuating the bad. Now, you guys, or, the other, or perhaps the other person here, if this is you guys, the Seven of Cups is indicating that this person is having to figure out where they're going to go, what their heart's desire is, right? Taking um, taking in the options or the possibilities of something new coming in. Now, this kind of gives me the sense that this person may be feeling that like this is a little bit too good to be true, kind of out the bat, but they're willing to go with it, right? Because they're going to kind of see and feel it out, but they're not necessarily deciding on anything because they don't necessarily know what they want, right? This is not necessarily a decision, right? They're having to pick. So there's a lot going on mentally with them as far as making a decision, but they're not solid or sold on any decision yet. They're kind of just browsing and looking around. Again, though, very similar stuff here. Even though this person is going through some pain, this 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 person over here is looking at different opportunities, perhaps seeing this as a you know too good to be too true situation. But they're kind of waiting for something to kind of. It almost looks like they're waiting for some sort of truth, maybe some true kind of truth that will cut through the the BS. Um, perhaps even expecting some sort of commitment out of out of the blue instead of actually taking action because the three of wands it's a, it is more of an act and it's still action that's being done here wait you know doing work and focusing on what needs to be done in the meantime as you wait um but it's, this is all about expectation what does each person expect now this person you can already kind of assume what this individual is expecting based off of the, what they're thinking you know they've experienced loss and they've always focusing on the loss they're perpetuating the loss they're expecting it and this person over here they're expecting to be duped i mean just be honest gemini you're expecting to be duped here and i don't think you will be i really don't now going further you guys are showing yourself as the knight of wands very sagittarian cool now since jupiter will be going into um uh sagittarius this week anyway i think on on, on thursday um, you guys are going to be really, you know, feeling your opposite energy big time. Okay. And the moon's going to be crossing with it. So everybody's going to get a sense of what do I enjoy? What do I like? What do I believe in at the same time? Right. So the, like this, the philosopher that comes out of us now, especially in the emotionals, we're looking at it in a very bigger picture sort of way. Some of us anyway, but the thing is, you know, aside from astrology, how you're showing yourself is light-hearted, not very serious in a sense, but not like you're not trying to show yourself as someone that's kind of a player. You're very open and honest about what you're, who you are and what you're doing. The Knight of Wands isn't lying. He's not a liar. He doesn't play with people. He's experiencing things and going through and being in the moment. And he's doing what he enjoys as he goes as he goes along. This is being in the moment, enjoying where you are, and having a good time. Again, I feel like the seven of uh, cups, seven of cups is like too good to be true energy. So there may be like, okay, well, all right, so I'll enjoy it as it kind of goes along. But when of course shit hits the fan, I'm not gonna be too too invested in it. That's kind of what I'm getting the sense of. But Seven of Pentacles also can also indicate a fantasy, a dream, some sort of, you know, illusion. And I feel like this is kind of you guys just going with the flow or just kind of experiencing things as you go along. Not really breaking the flow, not busting it, or not, you know, you know, just like moving too fast in it. Even though the Knight of Wands is one of the fastest nights, you guys are going with it, if that makes sense. You guys are going, because it's something that you enjoy. You're exploring and, and getting to know yourself a lot more. However, this other person here is becoming a little bit, is very quiet. They're not saying a lot of anything, as a matter of fact. They're very hush hush and very private. And whatever they're going through, this is kind of the cloaking it. Now, 
and whatever they're experiencing they feel is very personal but the thing is too they're very observant of you they're very watchful of you they're very you know they're keeping an eye out but at the same time they're really holding you know their, their attention really is split it's almost like they're trying to keep an eye out and trying to get to know you and at the same time trying to build trust but they're so, they're so focused on keeping something a secret that they um there may be not, they may not be getting the full information now the queen the high priestess she knows everything there's nothing that she doesn't know so there's always something that she will get from some situation but the high priestess being in the person's present right now you don't necessarily see them as clearly as you're seeing them you're showing yourself even though you don't necessarily know what the hell's going on either like let's be honest right the seven of cups can be that you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on like you're just as confused as this person is showing you like you don't know what to do with this person that's not trying to open up that's not opening up to you at all and it's not your fault there's nothing you can do you're just kind of riding the wave you're showing your trust you're communicating you're being authentic you're being transparent as much as you possibly can and you feel kind of you know like something's missing you're looking you're trying to look closer and i feel like you're trying to piece things together which is why i got that sort of like too good to be true energy it's like this person may be very intuitive very insightful and very you know very good at picking up details but again they're cloaking something that makes you in something you can just sense it you could just know that somebody's hiding something again though i want you to, to reinforce i'm not getting any sort of sense that they're trying to hide that they're cheating or somebody's being you know manipulative in any sort they are protecting themselves like i said we're going to get to that part in the part in a minute but the thing is you i feel like you guys are coming out to be very transparent you guys are being very open now please understand right this doesn't necessarily mean this has to be you this could be you here as well but again somebody's being more transparent and more open than this person is you know this than this person is and i think it's because this you you know this person on this side here wants to show that this person can be trustworthy even though they're not necessarily sure what the hell's going on why is how something's happening there's a lot of conclusions there's a lot of things going on and i feel like at the same time even though this person's not showing themselves it's allowing them to figure out what the hell they want to have what they want to do in the first place right this is why you know figuring out what your dream is what your heart's desire is what your romantic you know ideal relationship would be perhaps this is like trying to decide whether or not this is something you may want to pursue in or you know but there's no stability right this very moon energy when this card comes up when the seven of cups comes up it's very moony because it's like you may have a lot of options that look very promising but again right you don't necessarily know if it's going to get you to where you actually where it may where the potential may be right you don't have any idea if something's going to lead to their potential that's up to you but moving forward right moving forward you have the death card in your foundation the spirit so you're leading you're leaving something behind you're letting something go and i feel like at the same time you're opening to something new and i feel like that's the thing that sense of doubt from death is carrying over to the mental but at the same time you're the new opportunities the new ideas the new life that's coming from death is also coming here so this is like your twin energy is definitely being picked up here gemini so even though you kind of get this sense of okay this is maybe too good to be true you still have a glimmer of hope you still have that sun coming up in the background you still see like a potential for something good out of all of these which is why you're not necessarily giving up on all of these options yet right this is if this is giving up on something you're not trusting something going all together that you know this is going to get you to happiness it would be the eight of cups by now no this is a seven so you have some sort of glimmer of hope and even a sense of possibility that something can actually get you to where you want you know where you even may where may make you happy right but you don't have all the information you don't have all the facts which is why you have the knight of sword knight of wands here sagittarian energy where you're trying to get the bigger picture you're trying to get a bigger understanding but you're also showing that you're transparent and open and willing to receive information without being judgmental so the knight of wands is not a judgmental energy as a matter of fact he does not judge um and the fact is is that the fact of the matter is that you just want this person to communicate with you so you can get the full story so you can decide what it is that you truly want because right now things are a little too murky to make a decision you know you're very erisite about it you know you're not going to make a decision without the full facts and that's fair enough but the other individual is not too trusting they have the moon as their foundation now the reason why they're not trusting is because they have been backstabbed they have have they have a reason for this fear to be in their foundation where they're coming from is fear 
is its confusion, it's it's uh, it's un it's uncertainty to the highest degree here, and it's because they've been into a situation in the past where they have been disappointed and saddened because of some sort of loss or something that's been missing from past situations, past relationships. There's a reason why the two cups is behind them because one. They don't recognize that there's a connection between you and this person that you that's, that this person can trust and start to build something new based off of that, not from the from the fears and also to even to even conquer those fears. But two, this is something from the past here. This is something behind them, right? This situation when it comes to the two of cups in this relationship, they have gone through something so intense that they haven't been able to move forward from that this relationship the reason why it brings you guys together is because you guys in a way have come from very similar backgrounds and even though you may not have been scarred to that same degree in that amount of ten um of the degree of uh, uh, tendency you guys come from the same energy in the sense of having to release some things that may that you know that's caused you guys to doubt in the first place. Even though you have this more, you have a little bit more of a glimmer of hope here with that sun in the background. Death is still your foundation. You're still moving on. You're still leaving something behind. You're still getting over past disappointments, past pains, things that made you believe in a certain way of behaving because it protected you for so long, and it's time to change that. Which is why you have doubts here. That's why you haven't made a decision about what it is that you want. Or you haven't picked a cup yet because you're still having to, you're still trying to figure out, is this real? And the same thing is going on with this individual here. Instead of seeing that this is a potential for something new, they're, they're expecting, they're expecting the portrayal. They're expecting something out of the blue coming out. They're expecting whatever their fears are when it comes to trust. They don't trust anybody. And it's again, it's not their fault that they're like that, guys. So this is why I'm saying, like, this is why I'm saying, like, they don't think this is about cheating or anything like that, because this is not about that. And the child, the inner chi children is coming from, you know, this is their inner children, their inner child, right? It's it's broken. It's hurt. It's it, It's got a really big scratch and nobody is attended to them. Put a bandage on it. Tell them it's going to be okay. It's going to heal over time nobody's giving them that treatment not even that person but you coming together will help them see help them heal themselves rebuild this junior child to kind of get that thing going right where they can trust again that they can have hope again they can dream again because right now everything's private they're not giving much of themselves because they don't want to get too invested and at the same time right you're not necessarily you know you're you know you're having a good time you're being transparent because you're kind of doing the same thing in a way too you're not giving too much of yourself so that way if this it is too good to be true and this person does disappear you're not too invested in it because you're like okay well i didn't expect it to go anywhere either seven of the three ones now this is not an accusation or anything or, or trying to be rude or anything like that guys so please understand that this is about letting you guys know and seeing how you guys can progress to move forward to better yourself and the relationship that you've got we recognizing that you guys are coming from a, the same story the same troubles the same pains and some just in a certain degree it may be different but Understanding where you're coming from will help you guys understand the behaviors and the mindsets that you have and the fact and especially the person that you're dealing with because you guys are mirroring each other with the two of wands, two of cups here, not the two of wands, two of cups. Two of cups is a mirroring effect for me. How I read it, it's very, it's a mirroring kind of energy. So you guys act the same. You guys are, feel the same, you know, is it too good to be true? Is it going to last? Am I going to lose this? So they keep themselves hidden. They may not say things, you know, that, you know, they don't may not open up about how they feel. They may crush or suppress certain emotions because they don't want to lose what they have with you. Or, you know, no, they don't know if they can truly trust you, right? Same difference, really. But they don't realize that this two cups is a potential of something new and something really beautiful that can manifest. And at the same time, this potential for you know these all these options is especially well this this relationship is a possibility that this can move forward in a beautiful way but you're not sure either because this person is not opening up to you and this is bringing triggers back up to you know in a way because you have had situations where you have you know you're trying to get over stuff but this person right here it's dredging up a lot of the reasons why you don't trust in the first place, why you haven't moved on, why you hold on to something that's not really making, that not allowing you to grow in any direction. But it's at the same time, it is making you look at it. It's really making you see 
who you are now and why it's so important to shift, to change, to transition. So the challenge is communication and talking about how you feel, talking about, you know, about what's going on internally what you, and then to cultivate a dream, to really have a dream, to really have something that's personal, something that you want, at least something small, something that you can aspire to both of you, because this person here has had kind of their stuff ripped away from them, right? It's something that's been spilt, it's gone. It's something that they lost. They may be, fo they're focusing on what's lost. They're not building anything new. They're not creating something new. They're not creating a new dream. But this is to allow them to, this is allowing them to be, to trust that their, their dreams to trust their imagination and trust that they can have this. But it is also healing the page of cups, healing their inner child too. This is both healing for the both of you because death energy is very intense, just as intense as the moon and the high priestess together. And maybe even, maybe, maybe not the same degree, right? But you going through something that needs healing too. And you're doing a really good job. You have an interesting attitude about it, but either way you do, you know, either way you do need to heal, F you know, just for the yourself, you know, this is forgiveness. Is this for, you know, leaving something behind so you can have a new life, so you can have a new opportunity. And this person has to look at their fears and, ex you know, to acknowledge those fears and push through it so they can be able to have the two of cups that they know is behind them or they at least so they can shift their focus and recognize that there's a possibility for something great to happen with those two of cups even acknowledge those two of cups in the first place but they're too so they're too in, in you know like they're too intensely involved with these three cups to recognize that there's something around them that can actually blossom again that's not their fault you know I mean, it's, it's not their fault. It does take, t it does require communication, you know, and healing and compassion. You know, that's the big thing, compassion. Because you guys are both coming from very similar spots. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your whispers of love here. I've rambled on for quite some time. So let me go ahead and get this started so yeah, I can let y'all go for your, for the week. for help beautiful guys ask for help and it says what is it that you really need help with be willing to allow yourself the support you need and that's the thing with this individual they may be holding their emotions in because they don't want to be seen as someone that's weak you know they're very private about the things that they go through and i think you're the same way that's why you have a very lighthearted and playful energy about you and you're protecting something too. You're holding, you're, you know, you're hiding something too in a way. Even though you're very transparent and open, you tell people that your, your issues, I don't think you truly display them, you know, because you're, you're experiencing, you're gaining the information, you're being open. But, you know, you need just as much love and support and even, even, you know, well, just as much love and support as this person does. I do think this person needs to ask because they're in the, they're, they're more in the, you know, in, in a darker place than you are. Cause I think you're trying to, you're more optimistic about your life. You're more optimistic about the potential of something happening, but you know, either way, showing that you have, that you support this person, showing that you're open, you've been doing that. And I think that's a great thing, right? The, with that Knight of Wands, I do think that you guys have been open and transparent about how you've been, how you feel, and that's going to open the door for them to even communicate. But you have to also allow patience and compassion because they're going through something very, obviously very intense here. Two major kind of cards. Wow. And, 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 you know what? So are you. But the point of it all is, is that this person may need to sh be shown that they can be, you know, you can be trusted, that people can be trusted, that they can trust again. But this is not your job as well, right? To, I'm going to make that clear. Just because somebody is in a d dark place doesn't mean it makes it your job to put, you know, to get them out of it. You're their soulmate and they are, and you are theirs. You know, you're their soulmate and they are yours. So you, the, wherever they come into your, their, your life for it, you know, you're meant to do your work with that. You do your work with them, but if they pass up the opportunity of help, they're going to get passed into another soulmate so they can get the help that they need. And that's okay because you've done your part. That's the point. 
So focusing on you and doing the best that you can with what you have, and there's nothing wrong with it, especially if you love them. Like, you know, do the best that you can with what you got because you have some things to heal in your in already. But don't let your hope focus be on them because you forget the whole purpose of be of going through this soulmate journey together in the first place, soulmate lesson, which is trying to get this, you know, trying to open the door for you, open new opportunities and new things, and allow yourself to even dream. So you can have an, something to expect and expect with full confidence that it will happen in the best way possible.